welcome back to the channel. Today we got a fun one in Historic, a budget Belcher deck with only four rares in the whole deck. Those being the Goblin Char Belcher, which, if you don't know what this does, is a four mana artifact. And for three mana, tap it to reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a land card. Deals damage equal to number of non-land cards revealed this way to any target. Um, and then if a mountain was revealed, it doubles that damage. So if you have no lands in your deck, this does as many damage as you have cards left in your deck, which is typically like 40 plus damage uh, to the opponent. So basically game over if you cast this and resolve its ability targeting your opponent. So to do this, if you're not um, aware of how these decks kind of work, you play all uh, double-faced land cards. Um, so they're all spells, but they're lands in the deck. So we have a bunch of new ones in Modern Horizons 3, which is why you can make this deck a budget deck now, uh, because we have this Pinnacle Monk, which um, is a 5-mana 2-2 two -two prowess, comes into play. You can return an instant or sorcery card from a graveyard. But most of these you're not going to cast as the actual spells. You can, which is kind of a bonus, but a lot of them you're just using them as uh, lands, and we have a bunch of new ones that come into play. You can pay three life to make them untap. So we've got this Mystic Peak on the backside, uh, the Rush of Inspiration, which is kind of a, a dual land in this deck, comes into play tapped, um, has uh, the ability to draw two cards and discard a card at random, but it's really nice because it's a dual land here. So these are sort of our lands here. We also have the Hydroelectric Specimen, but really just using this again for the backside typically for the land, the blue land. Um, we also have Sundering Eruption, almost never use this one. Um, not a very good spell, but again, we can pay three life to make it untapped, which is uh, a powerful kind of double-faced card here. And we also have the Juari Disruption. This one is a little bit more powerful because you sometimes will use this to counter, but um, always comes into play tapped, but it's a blue land on the back. And we also have the Spike Field Hazard here. So again, this you can kind of use it as a removal spell sometimes, um, do one damage to any target and exile it. Also comes into play tapped. And the sink into super is the last one here. So about 28 lands total in the deck, um, but also could be used for spells. Sometimes you will use these as spells. This one is decent. It can return a spell or a non-land permit um, to their owner's hand. So you can kind of use it to bounce a spell uh, or opponent's creature. Um, the rest of the deck is ways to find the Goblin Char Belcher, which we have the Trove Mage, a 3-mana 2-2. It comes into play. You seek an artifact from the top 10 cards of your library. So if you don't have Goblin Char Belcher in your hand, in your opener, and you cast um, Trove Mage, it's pretty likely that you'll have probably one in the top 10 uh, cards of your library, and that just puts it directly into your hand and gives you a 2-2 um, on the battlefield. So not bad. There is a chance you miss with the Trove Mage. Um, that can happen. I haven't run the math. Let me know in the comments what the math is on missing with the Trove Mage, um, of both not having a Char Belcher in your hand and missing with Trove Mage. And then two of the Reckless Handling, which is a two mana sorcery, search your library for an artifact, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle, then discard a card at random. If artifacts discard this way, does two damage to each opponent. So not a great tutor because you have to discard a card at random, but it is a way of tutoring out the Char Belcher here. So, um, Kind of 10 ways of finding your Char Belcher. Um, and then the rest is all just removal or mana acceleration. The acceleration here, we've got at one mana the Omen Hawker, which is a one mana 1-1, one, one, but it can tap to add two mana and spend it to activate abilities. The key here is that the Char Belcher has this activate ability of three. So you're trying to get up to seven mana as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. And a, a mana dork that can tap for it costs one, it can tap for two, was really powerful to be able to use that ability. So you can um, have some starts where you can actually win on turn three if you have an Omen Hawker on turn one. And I'll show you how that works. Because we also have the renowned Weapon Smith, which is a two mana, one three, and you can tap to add two mana, but only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. So again, the theme is all in on this Belcher, and you can use him to tap it to either play it or activate the Belcher. And the Reckless Barbarian, you can also uh, sacrifice to add to red mana, a two mana, two two. So um, really the whole point of these is to get extra mana. Also the Glimpse, the Impossible, is a new card from Modern Horizons. Uh, three, exile top three cards of your library. 
you can play those cards this turn at the beginning of the next end step. If any of those cards remain exiled, put it into your graveyard. And then you get these uh, three Eldrazi spawns if you don't play any of them. So you're typically not going to get any cards very late game. You could use this to um, cast cards off the top of your deck, but typically you're just using it three mana to get three spawns, which is a, a big burst in mana that you can use to get up to seven mana that you need on the next turn for Goblin Charbelcher. A um, couple of removal spells, the uh, Galvanic Discharge and uh, Shove Aside just to stay alive here. Lots of creature decks in best of one, so definitely good to have some removal. Um, if you're facing more creature decks, you can probably add even more Shove Asides here. Um, but that is basically the deck. Uh, the turn possible turn three win here um, that I could talk about is turn one Omen Hawker. Um, turn to either the renowned weaponsmith or the barbarian and so this gives you two mana this gives you two mana so by turn uh three you'll have seven mana total and you can play and activate char belcher um so that's the uh best draw you can get typically you'll be able to win on turn four if you have a char belcher but possible to win on turn three um so let's jump into some games and see if we can win with this budget Char Belcher in Historic. All right, Budget Belcher in Historic. This hand looks fine. We got piece of removal, ways to find Belcher. Mana, no mana acceleration. But that's okay. We'll lead with the tap land here. And Ringleaf Drum into Ornithopter, okay. Is that worth removing? Ooh, there's a Thoughtseize on turn one. Interesting. I think Thoughtseize in the Ornithopter Springleaf Drum deck. It's fine. Um, yeah, makes sense. I'm going to play this as a tap land. An off chance we need to use this next turn, but Probably going to play out the Glimpse or the Trove Mage. Probably just the Trove Mage here. Unless I draw Elcher. Nothing from them. Um, okay, I'm going to play this for life. We do have... I kind of like playing this out. Because it gives us the chance of winning next turn if we draw Belcher. If we hit a Belcher off the Trove Mage... There's no way for us to win next turn with that, so we'll just set us up for a chance of winning. Otherwise, we'll still gonna kind of be the same, the same order of things. So well, this gets us a little closer to a Belcher potentially, I guess. Draw some cards. Okay, Make a treasure. Make some. On. Sure, synthesizer. A frisky peach, indeed. Another synthesizer. Some sort of red black artifact deck. Oh, there's a lot of new, like, red black affinity cards, so maybe that's what they're doing. Another Springlight Drum. We kind of just uh, haven't done much in the first three turns. And there's an Esper Sentinel. Okay. A little annoying. But Trove Mage shouldn't matter here. So hopefully. Hmm. <clears throat> we can use a spawn just in case we miss. Although if we miss, we can also do that. Yeah, let's see. I want to give us a chance of... Yeah, that's a mess. Of... Uh, should I just play another Trove Mage? I think so. Uh, what if I don't play another Trove Mage? It shuffles the library, yeah. Mm, I think so. I'll just cast it. See if we can actually hit here. Yep. Okay. 
So we don't have enough for next turn, fortunately, but we're not really under much threat here. So, I just hope they don't have another Otsies, but it doesn't reveal it, does it? <laughs> I can't be sure exactly what's in my hand, but probably looking for Otsies, but I definitely want to play out the Belcher. Okay, two black mana for Halt Scourge. Yep. Yeah, there's that new like red black equipment that would be pretty good. Got their fishy portable hole, sure. Yeah, was there, is there any removal? Anything I should be worried about with playing out the Char Belcher? I don't think so. I think, I think it's worth it to pay the life so they don't draw here or pay the, pay the mana and consequently the life here. Yeah. The other thing is I could leave up Spike Field Hazard. There's how many artifacts? One, two, three, four, five, six. If they play the equipment, it would give it like plus seven, plus seven. That wouldn't be enough, so. Um Pay the Life. Play the Belcher. I'm trying to think. I mean, the other option would be. I think I'll pay it, but the other option would be hold up the spike field hazard in case they have something that could do 11 damage. Maybe if they had like two of those equipments, that actually could do it. Deadly dispute, sure. Draw. Tapland. Well, they gotta have some way to remove me or the Belcher. No, no, that's not gonna do it. Swing, sure, block. Take one. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I think that should do it. Unless they have uh, something. Oh. Alright. Good game. On to the next one. Alright. Budget Belcher here. Looks like we have a way of finding the Belcher, so we'll keep on the uh, Trove Mage. So turn one. And lead with the tap land. A little mana fixing here. And then turn two we can go Hawker, probably. Oh, alright, there's the Char Belcher. So that's pretty good. Playing the Hawker is fine. We have two more lands. Or we could play the Bar Reckless Barbarian, but I think it's a little better to just do this. Go tap land here. Up against vampires of some kind. Next turn we can go glimpse and then that'll set us up for turn four Char Belcher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, no attacks, no. No nothing there, huh? So let's just glimpse. And uh turn them into spawns. Let's 
see what they got. Okay, black, white, vampires of some sort. All right, they don't remove our guy. Or make us, uh... Alright, that should, should be... Get us there, huh? Okay. Play out the Belcher. And enough to activate. Alright, good game. Alright, budget, Belcher... Um, no Belcher in the hand, but a decent hand nonetheless. I think we'll try it. Let's see. Got ten ways of finding it in here. Some removal. Turn one. Into tap land with the hazard. Turn two. And then play the Weaponsmith or the Barbarian. And I'm not sure which one's more useful. That guy's probably a little better. Get the life here. Play out the Weaponsmith. No Vial of Dragonfire. Okay, there is an elf. We could hang that down. Or do we need to use this for lands? We have a few other lands here, so I think it's worth it. They're mono green. Good to just take out. Take other guys while we can. This is... Uh, well, we can pay the life. We wanted to play the barbarian. Sure, I'm gonna do that. Play with the barbarian, and I guess just attack here. This is our backup game plan, which is just uh, play out our dudes, remove theirs. Okay, search their library for a creature or land, and hope to find. Or, oh, okay. Lucranos, that's pretty, pretty big. Oh, I was gonna say, hope to find our Charbelcher, and there it is. Well, good draw. Okay, good game. All right, budget Belcher going on the play. Got a lot of mana. All mana. Um, we'll try it. We'll try it. Need to find a find a way to get a Belcher here, but uh, not bad because got both our colors. Got a lot of mana. Just need a Belcher. Or where to find one? Okay, up against wizards. Looks like and. Let's play this and play out uh, Weaponsmith. Okay, ooh, bought that. Mike Feel Hazard doesn't do much. Let's keep playing weapon Weaponsmiths, I think. Could hold up this. This troop slow him down a little bit. I mean, yeah, that's it's certainly scary. Don't want to take any more damage from our lands, though. We don't have to. So actually, it might be if we want to hold this up next turn, it might be better just to play this so we have double blue. Um, yeah. This could be a lot of damage in the air. And really nothing to do. Didn't draw any of our removal. 
Uh, oh, wow. I plot another one. Okay. And Prismatic Vista. Sure. Okay, there's a disruption. That is at least something we can do. Um, I think I'll just play the tap land here and pass. Hold up the sink. So we have enough mana if we draw a Belcher. Put the Weaponsmiths and the lands. Do not need to play another one. Just need to not die. They are certainly plotting something. <laughs> well, there's one. Um, yeah, that one can resolve. Second one, maybe I should probably just return this to their hand. But I don't know if that's going to slow them down enough. Maybe I should have let it resolve and then during attackers. Um, bounce it. Kind of the same thing, I guess, right? I just didn't want to get any more, any other extra triggers on either of them, but yeah, kind of the same thing. Return it now or return it during combat. Let's see. Beam vents, and now we could do. Well, I'm only doing so much here. Okay, now more. Oh, we needed this earlier for sure. Well, we can hold up these two as as something to do. We can actually, play out the barbarian too, and. Use it if we need to. But we'll pass. Uh, hope to not die here. But I think I'm going to let them see what they do. Yep. Okay, sure. Yep. Possible I wanted to remove the Balmore actually before letting them untap. My hope was that oh wow. Yeah, they would like target target stuff and they would be able to remove the one that's gonna do something. So I think as this is I can counter that spell. But these are all going to do a ton of damage, and this is going to be 14. Yeah. Enough in the air that there's nothing I can do about it. All right. Good game. All right. Budget Belcher action. Uh, this hand is keepable. It's got the mage in it. Piece of removal. Lead with lead with a tap land here. Our only red source, so I want to get this down and then play. Oh, let's see. Okay, well, we can take that out. Like vampire list, or we could hold up a counter spell. But I think we just want to take this out. And do we want to do tap land or just play the hawker? Let's just play the hawker here. And uh, this will let us play the mage if we want to next turn, or we could play the barbarian in a tap land or hold up a counter. Let's see what they do first. Oh, there's our Inquisition. Okay. We'll see what they take here.
See if they can figure out what <laughs> what this deck is. Yeah. All right. Took our mage, fortunately, but we got a, some more draws in here. Find what we need. Okay, gonna use the blood. Draw and nothing. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, they know we have a disruption in our hand. Two disruptions. So... I think we're still gonna... I think it's still worth it to hold it up, though. I think I'm just gonna play the Hawker and attack and hold up. Disruption. Uh, destroy an opponent and search for basic. Yeah, that would kill the land. So, this is worth countering for sure. Okay, there's a tap land. I think we will play this on the backside. Tapped. And just hold up the counter spell again. Alright, <laughs> Omen Hawker be down. Got there. Alright, budget belcher time on the play. Lead with... We want to play the blue cards here, so... Fine with just leading, paying the life. Leading with the Omen Hawker here. Gonna take a lot of... Oh, okay, there's a, an elf. I think we should take that out. I think this is worth it to do this. The other option would be playing out the Weaponsmith, but got to bolt the bird, I think. Um, okay, there's another removal. So if we go uh, land here, how much do we care about this? Yeah, let's just keep removing, removing their stuff, I think. And we could hold up disruption or play out this weaponsmith. Hmm. I think we're going to play out the weaponsmith. And swing. It's a close call there. Sure. Okay. And now, this will set us up if we are able to hit here. Alright. Got there. Thinking, yeah, this would set us up for Belcher next turn. And if we had a no, that wouldn't quite be enough, but this should set us up for next turn. So we'll just pass. I don't think green elves will have a way to disrupt this. But they can probably make a lot of elves this turn. Yep. Certainly can. All right, well, that should do it. And activate. All right, GG. All right, welcome back to the wrap up. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it if you watched to the end of the video. We had a fun one today um, with a budget char belcher list. I want to talk a little bit about how you might want to improve this deck if you do have some rares or some mythics. There's different, a lot of different ways now that you can build this char belcher list. And these new uh, modal uh, double faced lands gives you a lot of options, which is really cool um, to build the deck. But overall, we had, I would say, a positive win rate, um, maybe 55% win rate or so uh, on the ladder, which is pretty good for a, a budget deck for sure. Um, definitely a lot of fun, had some really good draws, um, yeah, and kind of cool to kind of see that the, 
how to use these cards. Um, the Sink into Stupor and uh, the Joy Disruption, Spiteful Hazard all kind of came into play with just casting the front side, which is pretty cool as well. Um, so if you have some extra rares and mythics in the sideboard here, I have a couple cards that uh, could be useful if you wanted to uh, adjust. Probably the worst card in the deck is the Reckless Handling. Um, you can certainly cut that card, I think, for a clear upgrade would be Gamble because that is legal in Historic, which is just a one mana version essentially of that of the same card, and you can let you search for any card. Um, so I would definitely, if you have any Gambles, would recommend just upgrading uh, the Reckless Handlings to Gambles. Um, you could play Pact and Negation, which is kind of zero mana uh, counter spell. This can kind of help you play the Char Belcher and win on that same turn if the opponent has a counter spell. You can win that. Um, the Enigma Jewel. If you have any of these, I might replace the Omen Hawkers. Replace them with the Omen Hawkers. Just because it basically does exactly what uh, the Omen Hawker does, except that you... Um, well, it comes into play tapped, but it's not a creature, so they can't remove it. So you could replace the Omen Hawkers with it, or you could replace some of these renowned weaponsmiths um, or reckless barbarians with, with those as well. Um, yeah, so I would add some Enigma Jewels to the acceleration package here. Um, you could also maybe cut one or two Glimpse the Impossible. So any of, I think those are all, this is better than all of those mana accelerations. Um, Strike at Riches is, is an option um, you see in some builds. I don't think you'd need it. Now, if you wanted to change this deck quite a bit and go sort of a mono red build, you could play the Strike at Rich and Iron Crate Feet together. Um, in the same deck, and that would be uh, pretty good. So you'd want to kind of maximize the amount of gambles you have, the Strike at Riches, and the Iron Crate Feats. Iron Crate Feats is really good with Goblin Charbelcher because it gets you up to 7 mana. Um, but if you wanted to keep it blue-red as well, there are Mythic lands that are double-faced that can come into play untapped. I think these are better than... Um, Spike Field Hazard and Jawari Disruption in general, just because um, they give you the option of coming to play untapped. So if you have any of these in your collection, I would replace the Disruption and the Spike Field Hazard with them. Um, but again, these are sometimes useful. So um, the deck doesn't necessarily need to be upgraded, but if you wanted to it to do it, those are some ideas of how you might upgrade it for uh, if you have some more rares or any of these rares or mythics. Let me know what you think about the deck in the comments below. Any cards I missed? Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the deck. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.